So how much technology do you use in your courses? Oh, uh, quite a bit. I've gone to pretty much um, uh, paperless. I have uh, do a few things with paper where it makes some sense. I have like a attendance sheet and then I have some exams that I'm still getting at this point um, on paper because I haven't quite transitioned those into uh, um, onto online just yet. But uh, for the most part, uh, everything else is the notes are my um, um, <clears throat> lectures are uh, video recorded and video streamed. Um, that's where I just came from was uh, from the studio. It was a live uh, broadcast. There's also uh, I have labs for them to do. Part of the labs basically are that for them to uh, demonstrate um, they've done the particular lab assignment and it uh, and get some feedback within the uh, within the lab. And what I was mentioning is I use the iPad for doing uh, for uh, giving them feedback on some of those particular things. Basically, um, uh, here I'll have uh, uh, particular. Um, Assignments and give them and give them information back on what how they how well they performed with a particular uh, demonstration. Um, what I was mentioning was I found that uh, just having them turn in reports was uh, somewhat problematic because um, well one I don't really know who did the report um, two I, I, I just um, there are some issues associated with that the other issues were I just found as a communication tool for giving them uh, feedback on some of the stuff it just wasn't very useful. Um, they would do the uh, they would do the particular assignment, uh, write up the report, turn the report in a week later or something like that. Um, and uh, especially with the you know uh, the current loads of um, students and stuff, it's very difficult to try to process those and get those back within you know a week, two weeks, three weeks. You know, so often it'd be four weeks before you get the information back. Uh, well, it's a three-month semester, so you know a large portion of that's been taken up by one, you know, by uh, pretty much one assignment at that point, just to get some feedback. And then a lot of the assignments are stacked on each other, so basically the, the things you learn in one, you you use mm -hmm. in the next one, type of thing. And so I found that uh, rather difficult and wasn't too useful. People often, by the time they get the feedback. I'd spend a lot of time giving them feedback on their reports, but nobody would really read them very much. They just want to know what the score is by that point. So instead, what I did was actually incorporate that into the into the um, uh, lab itself. So then, as they're doing the demonstration, say, "Oh well, here this here's some feedback on this. You should change this a little bit." And so I can take, you know, five minutes, ten minutes, this sort of type of thing, and then give them, you know. Um, in essence, you know, almost a, a book worth of information, certainly uh, quite a few pages of information back to them very quickly in that, and transferring it that way so they can uh, fix their reports and get those turned in that way. What technology do you find the most useful in teaching? If you were to, if someone is going to just start using technology in their teaching, what do you think is the most useful? Um, um, Wow, that's um, that's kind of difficult to uh, answer. Um, I well, I guess it depends on where we cut the lines. I mean, uh, um, I think definitely having um, a laptop um, so that you could um, put some of the have some things set up so you could actually um, uh, display your notes and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. That draws me back to a point where I had I had sort of an epiphany one time when I was lecturing. Um, and I was had my notes, and I had um, I was writing up on the board uh, from my notes, writing on the board, and um, and then students were writing down things, uh, taking notes, and I suddenly kind of dawned on me. I just kind of looked around. And I thought, well, I looked at the board, I looked at my notes, and then I looked at the people out in the in there, and I thought. This seems pretty strange. We're, you know, we're poor photocopiers at best. You know, I mean, here's the notes. Let's discuss this. You know, here, let's go over what are some of the key points here. And so that's where it kind of took me down this particular path. And have you assessed the effectiveness of any of the technologies you use for student learning? Well, I, I couldn't say that I've done those in a, you know. A formal, exhaustive kind of matter. Basically, it's pretty much, um, you know, more um, anecdotal. Basically, just a situation of uh, I'm seeing that the class responds a lot um, more, and so I've been going off of that sort of 
that's been leading me in those particular types of directions. I uh, did a significant uh, course redesign where I um, took a course and wanted to make the course more relevant and everything. And so um, I looked at um, what did I really want these students to sort of walk out of the course with these particular, what were the particular kinds of goals and stuff like that. So I looked at, at those particular pieces, took most of what I was doing and condensed that down to about, um, for the semester, down to half a semester, down to a third of the semester, and looked at just the essence of those particular pieces, then added back in some other um, um, platforms, some other areas, some other modules for them to do, and then tried to free up so that the uh, latter part of the semester was something where they could incorporate then some of the things that I had, we had explored in the earlier part of the semester into a project that was of their interest and stuff. And so that really came back with a very, um, uh, very high motivation and they were very, and then also what I had them do is build this, build a project and then uh, they got a turn to come up on the camera and actually then uh, present. And so those were recorded and, and basically so they could point to those and video stream so they could hear some things that we did and see what we got to do. And that also leveled up the, the projects because if you're going to present them out there, then basically you want to make sure that it's something worth presenting, you know, <laughs> not just, you know, something to throw at the... Uh, uh, professor or at the uh, teacher basically as far as well here's just something so you know please let me have a score and leave or something like that so they would you know work in teams and want to you know kind of motivated each other and stuff like that so I guess I haven't really looked at it from the standpoint of you know s statistical data and having you know a lot of the surveys set up and stuff like that but looking more at the enthusiasm from the students as they respond to the use of the different types of uh, technology. Uh, is there a piece of advice that you would like to to have had when you started using some technology? Yes. Um, uh, don't do too much at one time. Mm -hmm. um, it's difficult because, uh, well, and also the to feed into the hype factor, I mean, there's just a lot of oh, it can do all these different things, and so, you know, and then you feel like, well, I can't make it do that, so there's something wrong with me or something, you know, and I, oh, oh my God, you know, and mm -hmm. um, what's wrong with it, what's wrong with me, what's wrong with all these things, I, you know, should be able to be, it should be easy, <laughs> and um, it, it, it isn't, you know, and, and you, I, uh, well, the suggestions I would I'd suggest to someone or wish I had sort of heard was, you know, you know, take a smaller section, try to make that work so you feel comfortable with that, and then go to the next thing, go to the next thing. Uh, and have you ever been excited about a piece of technology for teaching but found it not effective in practice? I don't know, a number of years ago we were, were looking at um, incorporating uh, like uh, iPods, um, not the iPads, but the iPods, because uh, they were first out and that was a real new thing. and. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe we do something more than um, you know, just play music with them. And what kinds of different things could we do? Um, so I said, okay, well, that sounds really good. You know, maybe you could do a presentation on them or something like that. And then it looked really interesting. Looked like you could do some of these things, but uh, yeah, it was sort of problematic. I just felt like I wasn't quite, you know, I, I couldn't quite get where I wanted to be with that. Um, PowerPoint was another one. I mean, I was um, excited about PowerPoint. It seemed to be really a nice, interesting piece to do, and you could sort of organize things a little bit. But then I just found I had limitations. I was, um, I could only put so much on a slide, um, and then I realized, well, then you could actually have your speaker's notes. So you then you have your notes, but then you have your slides. And I'm going like, well, but if I have any notes and I'm having slides, then why don't I just have them together? and give them to the people. <clears throat> and what are you most proud of about your teaching? Most proud of? Well, um, uh, that it's um, accessible across um, for, for different people. I have uh, people with, you know, various with disabilities. I have um, uh, various um, people uh, in various um, stages that you know, what I strive to do is, is be able to 
uh, make it um, presentable, understandable, so they can actually use those types of things and to be able to use um, the technology and, um, and so it actually works, it actually um, works in that particular manner. So.